Oh yeah, bugger. <laughs> Okay, I'm out again, photographing the wildflowers. I noticed when I come to the Bluebell Wood, which I'm at now, um, two weeks ago, I noticed there was a patch of wild garlic at the bottom of the earlier. So I've come back today to photograph them. Now they're not quite fully blossomed, um, which I'm a little bit gutted about, to be honest with you. There's not a, there's not a, a large amount, there's a little pockets and patches so what I'm thinking of is get really detailed into the image um, so I'm going to try the long lens and I'm going to try my probably 50 mil um, try, probably try my 50 mil uh, uh, vintage lens so that's the plan try and get all that background nice and blurry and and just focus on this this one subject now so i'm trying to pick one nice flower out and get a nice colored background so what i've done is is come to this area here where it's got some bluebells behind it so we've got that nice contrast of color we've got these nice white wild garlic which smell fantastic and um then just a into purple behind and these greens and things like that so that's that's what i'm trying to do my biggest problem i've got is <laughs> is me me getting down low enough not the camera but me to to sort out that composition so it's quite difficult uh with these knees this back it's not good so that's my plan that's what i'm going to try and do uh got the camera out just trying some and I'll see if I can find some and isolate some images I've got my 70 to 300 lens on I've got it at about nearly about 250 270 mil focusing one meter in front of me on this one flower um, because we've got a slight breeze as well with um, I've up the ISO because I'm still getting a bit of movement there just so it's nice and sharp um and that is pretty much it really the other advantage i have got is two hours ago or most of the day we've had showers now these showers left little water droplets on the, the flowers and things like that so that was another reason why i wanted to come out and photograph today uh, so let's get some comp set up and uh, see how we get on. This first composition is of this one garlic flower, quite tall, taller than the others, leaning over from, from left to right. The only thing I'm not sure is it's got a dead leaf on it and I'm not sure whether to pick the leaf off or not. Um, I, think, I think I'm gonna pick the leaf off. It distracts from the beautiful flower. So I've got it with the leaf on, so now I'm going to pick it off. And I think it's going to look better in a portrait shot. The problem is, like I say, <laughs> I can't bend down to have a look at the portrait shot, and this won't articulate um, the other way. So what I'm going to do now is I've got that set, change it to portrait because I'm quite confident it'll look better in portrait. That actually looks really nice. Okay, let's move on. Oh, my bloody back. Thank <laughs> you.